In a previous video, we mentioned that data or information entered directly by the programmer into a program are literals. So let's talk a bit more about literals and specifically let's consider strings in this video. We'll also consider one of the important differences between running a program stored in a file and running code interactively. Let's start by putting some code in a file and then we'll store it and run it and we've talked about opening a file in idle before we could go to the file menu and select new window but here I'll use the keyboard shortcut which is either command N or control N depending on whether you're on a Mac or a Windows machine this brings up this untitled window there's no interactive prompt and we could put as much code as we want in here and then run it through the interpreter then have it execute so let's put three lines of code in here one of which will look very strange first let's go with something quite familiar we've done this many times before let's have a print statement with an argument of hello world so in this case we have a literal string argument we have some text that we are hard wiring in we as the programmers have written those quotation marks and put hello world that's going to be passed to the print function and the print function will generate that output but now let's do something strange let me write another string here and maybe call or write the text here why hello world but I won't make this an argument to the print function it's just this literal string sitting out on its own and then one more print statement let's print the text just by okay and this is a literal string argument of by for that second print function now let's save this code and to do that we'll use the keyboard shortcut command s or control s that brings up the save window and maybe we could say the file name is test literal string we want to give it the extension dot py and then we can click on save or just hit return that saves the file and now we want to run it and we run it by hitting the function key F5 so I'll do that now to run this code we see the announcement of the restart and then only two lines of output we see the hello world from the first print statement and we see the by from the second print statement but there was that string why hello world just sitting in the middle it wasn't an error to have that literal in the code but since we didn't tell Python to generate that output it just saw that information and continued on from there when we enter literals at the interactive prompt things behave a little bit differently so I want to demonstrate that now if we enter that same text why hello world so we are back in the interactive environment and that is just a string a bit of information a string literal so let's again say this is a literal string when we hit return now the interactive environment echoes that back to us so we'll see several instances of the interactive environment echoing things back to us it doesn't look exactly the same as what we entered in that the echoed value has single quotes instead of double quotes but it's still echoing back that string to us now let's try something a little bit different I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut to recall the previous entry and let's modify this text a bit instead of a space there we've seen that slash n is the new line character so I put the new line character in this string and when I hit return 
what's going to happen? We might guess that we would get y, comma, then a new line, and then hello world on the next line. But in the interactive environment, what is echoed back to us is essentially exactly the string as it was typed in. That new line is represented by the slash n. So one more thing here. Let's recall that line. And instead of just the literal string on the line by itself, let's go back to what we had been doing in the past. Let's enclose this in a print statement. Okay, now that literal string is an argument. So we have a literal string argument, information being passed to the print function, and the print function knows what to do with that new line character. We've seen that before. So here the guess is once I hit return, we should see Y on one line and hello world on another. So I'll hit return, and sure enough, that's what we see.